So in this, we are going to do a post-order traversal of binary search tree. So this is the tree, given tree, and this is a root node. And uh, how the post-order will be executed is, first it prints the left, with the left child. That will be printed, then right child, and then finally the parent. This is how the, this is the order in which the nodes will be visited. This is the coding. So first we visit it with a root node and that will be assigned the temporary node pointer will be pointed to the root node. Hereafter we will visit the node using the temporary pointers. So here initially it will be post 100. That will be called first. This is the root node. So post, post order of 100 that will be called. When a function calls that will be pushed into the memory stack. Now it checks whether it is equal to null. No. So this will be executed, temp theft, which is nothing but 200. So now that will be pushed into the uh, memory stack. Then again, here it will be called. It is not equal to null. So its left will be moved. This is nothing but 250. So that is also pushed into the memory stack. Then here it goes temporary left. Here it is 0. So when there is a 0, there will be a, uh, it, it is return. That is a null statement. Null means uh, there is a, there is no node, further node. So what happens? It returns. When there is a return statement, the topmost element in the pop will be uh, stack will be popped. So now this will be popped. After it is popped, now all it, we have already visited a left, so it is zero. So now it goes to the right. It is also a null. So what happens? Now next statement we print the value in the uh, data field. So it's nothing but your four. Okay. Now, since uh, the next step is, since it is over, we uh, just look into the top of the stack and this top of the stack value will be executed. So it is nothing but post order 200. So what happened? It is not equal to null, but it uh, left is already visited. So now visit our right. So that will be pushed into the memory stack. So post 300 that will be visited now here it goes uh, now here post 300 here it is not equal to null temporary left is uh, uh, here it exudes with the temporary left which is nothing but zero so it is equal to uh, return so now this will be popped and then its left is also visited which is zero so now it, it the value which is present in that is printed Actually, it is a thing. So what happens? Uh, the value in that will be printed 8. So this has been popped. Already it's popped. And it, the value is because of this uh, temp null, we have popped. And the value in the data field is printed. Now again, the, there is nothing to pop. Now this is the topmost element in the stack. Now this will be executing, getting executed. So post of 200. Now here that value is passed. It is not equal to null. Then temporary left. Already we have visited the left of this 200. So we move to its right. Uh, right is also already visited. So what happens? We just print the data portion. So uh, what we have, we are writing the value. Uh, in the data portion, which is nothing but 6. Okay. So we pop this and we have printed this value. Now, again, the next statement is topmost value post of 100. So that is executed. Now, here it is not equal to null. So, uh, temp left. Already we have stirred the left. So we move towards right, which is nothing but 150. So that will be pushed into the so next is uh, what happened uh, again we call it with 150 so when it is not equal to null temp left here uh, this is the 150 its left is 350 so that will be pushed into the stack then uh, here again we call with 350 uh, here 350 here and it says it is uh, not equal to null so what happens temporary left we move towards the left which is nothing but zero so again, we call here. When it is equal to null, then what happens? I pop the topmost element, which is nothing but your 350 is again popped. Then uh, its uh, right is also null. So now we print the value which is present in this, which is nothing but 15. 
okay so now what happens uh, the next statement here we go here 150 the top of the element top of the stack is 150 and 150 we uh, we take that 150 and then we pass this here post order 150 will be executed here it is not equal to null but here temporary left already we have visited its template so it moves towards right which is nothing but 400 so we push the value uh, we push that call into the memory stack so that is pushed then uh, now it is it has gone the temporary that is right which is nothing but here now data now the data present in that value is printed that is nothing but 21 now we have printed that value now after that this uh, we have checked its value left and right both are here uh, after this uh, printing now again it calls with the uh, 400 and then uh, uh, here we we have already printed the value now we check the left and right it is equal to null so what happened this is already popped and we have printed that value that step i have missed now uh, since all both the values are uh, that is value right. now we uh, already it has printed now the topmost value in the stack is it get executed post 150 now it goes there now what happens here already we have stored its left and we have stored its right also so the value present in the data portion will be printed now it is nothing but your 18 okay now so this will be popped and that that is over now the uh, remaining element in the stack is post of uh, post order of 100 now it get executed here it checks it is not equal to return so this statement is over temporary left or it has visited all its temporary right it has visited all these things so only the thing is portion data portion has to be uh, printed so that will be done now so now okay it is printed so 4 8 4 8 6 and then 15 21 18 10 this is how it has printed if you see this uh, this is how it executes so first you have to visit so the, this is the order first you have to visit the left right uh, left subtree so in that again you have to visit the left shell final left shell so here this is the final uh, left shell and then we have printed then we have to move to its right so this will be printed eight and then its parent left right and its parent so six is printed then finally here we go but this is this is again parent of some other parent so here now we go to that parent and move to its left so now we print that 15 and then 21 its left cell then its parent then finally the last the root so root will be printed as a last one so this is what our answer which we have already got